I was reading a bit about edge caching. It's like, mm -hmm. first, like, is CDN and edge caching the same? Or like, maybe can you explain like, what is the difference for, I mean, I'm not that familiar with it myself. So like, yeah, what, like, what is exactly edge caching and maybe if there are differences with CDN and what's the concept of it? So edge caching, edge caching, let's start with, it's not a buzzword. Uh, edge literally refers to a network edge. So Presidium, I don't really know if I should be talking about this yet, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, you don't have to, don't feel obliged by it. I'm just, you can explain the concept in general. You don't have to, it's up to you. So <laughs> way to explain the concept is explaining it from our actual work though. So what we're working on now, and it's going to be coming out very soon, is uh, edge caching provided in a sense, kind of, not really though, kind of how it's done by Cloudflare. I'm only using that example because it's better known throughout the ecosystem. And um, what happens with edge caching? There's lots of different types of edge caching. You can even consider just a plain old CDN, like what you're used to uh, for static assets. Static assets meaning JavaScript files, images, uh, CSS files. Yeah, so in a typical old CDN situation, you have that stuff uploaded somewhere to this network of lots of nodes, and you have those nodes in lots of places around the world, uh, lots of providers do it, and your static assets will be closer to the person trying to access your website. So the website will load faster, right? So you can consider that something like edge caching. You've kind of cached, well, not kind of, you have literally cached your CSS, your static assets. What's missing is a page cache, uh, actually, the actually generated HTML. So PHP doesn't have to run uh, on WordPress, or so you don't even have to reach the caching engines or caching layers that your hosting provider might provide because everything's in layers. There's the edge that we talked about before. Where's my hand? There's the edge, I'll put it over here. <laughs> There's the edge, and then there's the infrastructure of your actual hosting provider. So you can have caching happening here too, where in secure, security, why is this is where you would have your web access firewall? You could have caching happening there too. Uh, we currently do employ that kind of caching using varnish. We use a hot and a warm layer. So having adaptive la layers is important too. The difference is that, uh, well, in our situation, at least the difference is that on the hot layer, everything is in memory, and memory is super fast, we all know. Yeah. And then the warm layer, there's no cold, hot and warm. <laughs> uh, cold would be uncached. The warm is on SSDs. Um, edge caching pushes that even further, even closer to the client or the person trying to access the website.